often that I have to move the mic down. So this is fun for me. Hi, I'm Evangeline Mantler. I am a senior at Burke High School. This poem is called War Women. My grandmother made bullets during World War II. Slaving in a factory to win our war, manufacturing the mass killing of Nazi ideology. They say her fingers worked steady over the metal casings, weaving history in blood and ammunition, recognizing the shape of her tube of lipstick and the bullet she raised to her mouth. The gunpowder painting her lips closed, unable to speak of her service to this war. Because history forgot that women are the heroes, sitting in living rooms and parlors, busying their hands by sewing flags for the battlefield and shrouds for the burials of their sons. Every stitch a prayer that their men would return and save them from their wretched worry one way or another. Every victory was won on the backs of women, and if history is always written by the victors, tell me, where did they go? Why do I not hear of the brave women? Was there no one woman enough to write a history book? Was the paper too thin, the ink too faded? Could the spine not sustain the weight women bear every day? Crushing themselves in the silence of politeness because screams aren't ladylike? I've been told before, I'm not ladylike. That usually happens when I speak. And though this frame of mind may seem like just one woman, when the night is dark and quiet, I do not fear walking alone. I stand with the warriors of Amazon tribes, Sojourner Truth, Susan B. Anthony, Heidi Lamar, and though we try not to forget, it's hard to see women as capable today when we haven't learned about enough. Women weave the fabric of history, though rarely appear on it, sent back to their kitchens and laundry rooms and secretary desks and plain aisles like my grandmother after the war. No woman to be seen unless she's the pretty face at the door. Though we appear on the battlefield of our lives, city streets, we are so busy turning cheeks we do not realize we have turned away when cat calls shoot silence into our mouths. I wish my hands were as familiar with the feeling of a bullet as my skin with eyes on my body, as if I am capable of my own defense, as if I can manufacture my own bullets, write the history of my own victory, like my grandmother who today sits in her home, sewing the quilt of our family tree, hands still stained with gunpowder and lipstick, quietly speaking our story lest we forget.